Have you ever wondered why some people seem to have all the time in the world, while others are always racing against the clock? Let's delve into the concept of time. Time is the one currency we all have in common, yet it's the one thing we can't afford to waste. It's finite, precious, and once spent can never be recovered. Now consider this, we all have the same 24 hours in a day, yet some people seem to accomplish so much more. They are the ones who understand the true value of time. They make wise decisions about how they use their time, focusing on what is truly important and eliminating the unnecessary. They understand that time is the great equalizer and how we use it determines where we end up. The value of time is not to be underestimated. It's the foundation of success, the bedrock of achievement. Remember, time is a resource that, once spent, you can never get back. Do you find yourself constantly distracted, jumping from one task to another without really accomplishing anything? In this bustling world of ours, distractions are everywhere. They're in our pockets, on our screens, and even in our minds. They're the bane of productivity, the robbers of time, and the silent killers of dreams. They're like quicksand pulling us deeper into a pit of unproductivity the more we struggle against them. Now let's take a moment to consider this. Studies suggest that the average person is distracted every three minutes. Yes, you heard that right, every three minutes. That's 20 times an hour and a staggering 480 times in a typical day. That's like having your train of thought derailed every time it leaves the station, but it gets worse. Once distracted, it takes an average of 23 minutes to return to the original task. Multiply that by the number of distractions in a day and you're looking at a loss of about 180 hours. That's equivalent to almost eight full days each month, lost to the abyss of distractions. But what if we could reclaim that lost time? Enter the concept of deep work, a state of focused, uninterrupted work. It's like being in the zone where distractions lose their power and productivity reigns supreme. Deep work is not just about getting more done. It's about the quality of our work, the depth of our understanding and the richness of our experiences. It's about fully immersing ourselves in a task, giving it our undivided attention and producing work that's not just good, but great. Imagine what we could achieve if we could harness the power of deep work. We could write that novel we've always dreamed of, learn that new skill, or even start that business we've been thinking about. Distractions are the enemy of productivity. It's time to declare war on them. And remember, in this battle, the weapon is focus. The battlefield is your mind, and the prize is your time. So gear up, because this is one war worth fighting. So, how can we become masters of our own time? That's the million-dollar question, isn't it? And the answer lies in effective time management. So, what does it involve? Let's dive into it. Firstly, we need to prioritize tasks. Imagine your to-do list as a pyramid. At the top are your most critical tasks, the ones that align with your goals and generate the most significant impact. These are your big rocks. At the bottom are the small pebbles, tasks that are less crucial. Start your day by tackling the big rocks. It's an approach that ensures your energy is spent on what matters most. Next, we have goal setting. Goals provide direction and purpose. They're the roadmap for your journey. But remember, a goal without a plan is just a wish. So set specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound goals, often referred to as SMART goals. For example, instead of saying, I wanna read more, say, I will read two chapters of a book every night before bed for the next month. It's specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Scheduling downtime is another important strategy. Contrary to popular belief, downtime is not wasted time. It's an opportunity to recharge, reflect, and rejuvenate. It's like hitting the reset button. So, schedule regular breaks during the day. Try the Pomodoro technique. Work for 25 minutes, then take a five-minute break. After every fourth work cycle, take a longer break of 15 to 30 minutes. This technique helps maintain focus and stave off fatigue. Now, let's talk about productivity tools. In our digital age, there are countless tools designed to help us manage time more effectively, from digital calendars and to-do list apps to project management software and time tracking tools. 
these resources can automate, organize, and streamline tasks. For example, a digital calendar can remind you of upcoming deadlines, while a project management tool can help track progress and delegate tasks. Finally, remember that effective time management is not about cramming as many tasks into your day as possible. It's about simplifying how you work, reducing stress, and increasing productivity. It's about making sure you spend your time on the right things. So to recap, becoming a master of your own time involves prioritizing tasks, setting smart goals, scheduling downtime, and utilizing productivity tools. It's about making conscious choices about how you spend your time. With these strategies in place, you're well on your way to taking control of your time. Now that we've declared war on distractions, how do we eliminate them from our lives? Well, it's a battle that requires a combination of practicality and discipline. The first step is to create a dedicated workspace. This is a haven where you can focus solely on your tasks. The key is to keep this space clutter-free and devoid of anything that doesn't contribute to your productivity. Think of it as your fortress of solitude where your work is the superhero saving your time. Secondly, it's essential to set boundaries with others. Whether it's family, friends, or colleagues, it's important to communicate your working hours and the need for uninterrupted focus. Of course, it's not about alienating others, but respectfully requesting their cooperation. Remember, every interruption, however small, breaks your flow and takes up extra time to regain focus. Another practical strategy is to turn off notifications. In this digital age, our devices are constantly buzzing, beeping, and flashing with updates, messages, and alerts. Turning off these notifications or at least scheduling do not disturb periods can greatly reduce distractions. It's about taking control of your technology rather than letting it control you. Lastly, practicing mindfulness can be a powerful tool in eliminating distractions. By training your mind to stay focused on the present task, you can significantly reduce the impact of external distractions. It's not about completely blocking out the world, but rather about choosing where to direct your attention. Let's consider an example. If you're writing a report, creating a dedicated workspace might mean clearing your desk of unnecessary items and setting up your computer with only the necessary tabs open. Setting boundaries could involve telling your family or roommates that you'll be working for the next two hours and would appreciate not being disturbed. Turning off notifications means silencing your phone and closing any irrelevant apps and practicing mindfulness. That's about immersing yourself fully in the task of writing the report, not worrying about what's for dinner or the movie you plan to watch later. By eliminating distractions, you can create an environment that fosters productivity and efficiency. It's about reclaiming your time, focusing your energy, and making the most of every moment. It's your life. Don't let distractions steal it away. With all this talk about time management and productivity, let's not forget about the most important thing, living a meaningful life. You see, it's not just about getting more done in less time. It's about aligning your actions with your values, passions, and goals. It's about embracing your life's purpose. Time management isn't just a productivity tool, it's a vehicle for personal growth and fulfillment. Consider this. If you're spending your time efficiently but not effectively, are you truly living a purposeful life? Efficiency is about doing things right, but effectiveness is about doing the right things. It's about choosing to invest your time in activities that align with your purpose and contribute to your growth and happiness. Take a moment to reflect on your values. What do you hold dear? What drives you? What are your passions? What are your goals? These are the things that define your purpose in life. They are the compass that guides your actions and decisions. Now think about how you spend your time. Does it reflect your values, passions, and goals? Or are you caught up in the hustle and bustle of everyday life, losing sight of what truly matters to you? Time management can help you bridge this gap. It can help you prioritize activities that are in line with your purpose and eliminate those that aren't. It can help you carve out time for personal growth and fulfillment. Remember, time is the one resource that you can't get back. Once it's gone, it's gone for good. So don't just spend your time invested. Invest it in your growth, in your happiness, in your purpose. So 
As you move forward, keep this in mind. Time management isn't just about productivity. It's about living a purposeful life. It's about embracing your life's purpose and making every second count. By managing your time wisely and eliminating distractions, you're not just becoming more productive, you're paving the way for a life of purpose and fulfillment. Thank you for tuning into this video and showing your support for self-education and lifelong learning. If you found this content valuable, please take a moment to show your appreciation by giving the video a like. And if you haven't already, we invite you to subscribe to our channel for more informative content in the future. We love creating content that is both informative and engaging, and we want to hear from you. Let us know in the comments what topics you'd like us to cover next. Your feedback helps us create videos that you'll love. If you're interested in learning more about this topic or related subjects, be sure to check out the other videos on our channel. You'll find a wealth of information that will help you on your journey of self-improvement and personal growth. Once again, thank you for your time and attention. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more great content in the future.